Hallelujah. Ah, you, don't, you, you don't know what you have done already. You don't know what you've done already. If you can, just sit down for a few minutes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know you have been looking forward to this conference. You've been waiting and waiting and waiting and now it is here. And you wonder, what are we here doing? I want you to know, we want to set this, the tone for the rest of the conference. What happens today is going to determine the rest of the conference. And if you didn't know it, I want you to know that we are here for battle. If you, if you thought you were just coming here to enjoy a conference, you made a big mistake because you just walked into a war front. Ephesians 6. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle you didn't know that you are a wrestler. You had no idea. Some of you just don't know it. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Therefore, in light of what you are about to face, because I tell you, there are people who have brought heavy baggage, dragging chains all their lives. Who's going to set me free from this body of death forces? Because of that, you have to take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, when the smoke has cleared, you must be found still standing. Stand therefore, having your waist girded with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, and above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching to the end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. This is what we are here for. Praying always. We are here tonight to set the stage for the rest of the week. If you didn't know it, if you came from one of those churches where you have to be dignified when you come to God, where you have to be quiet. You know, I've said someone said, I hate those Pente you know, Pentecostal churches. They make too much noise. There's no reverence. You know, you don't feel. I want you to go to the book of Judges. This is the battle. God is sending Gideon to go and fight. That same night, the enemies had come down. They were like ants, grasshoppers. And Gideon shows up with only 300 men. Just 300 men. They are numbered a hundred maybe a thousand to one these people were how can 300 people face a whole army and I want to watch because God is the one who gave them who gave them the instructions so read I want you to go down because I don't want to spend too much time reading go down This is what 
what Gideon told them to do. From verse 16. And so it was when Gideon heard the telling of the dream and its interpretation, he overheard what they were saying that he worshipped, he returned to the camp of Israel and said, Arise, for the Lord had delivered the camp of the Midian into our hand. Then he divided the 300 men into three companies. And he put a trumpet in every man's hand. A trumpet in every man's hand. With empty pitchers and torches inside the pitchers. And he said to them, Look at me and do likewise. Watch. And when I come to the edge of the camp, you shall do as I do. When I blow the trumpet, I and all who are with me, then you also blow the trumpets on every side of the whole camp and say, The sword of the Lord and of Gideon. So Gideon and the hundred men who were with him came to the outpost of the camp. At the beginning of the middle watch just as they had posted the watch and they blew their trumpets and broke the pictures that were in their hands then the three companies blew their trumpets and broke the pictures they held the torches in their left hands and the trumpets in their right hands for blowing and they cried the sword of the lord and of gideon and every man stood in his place all around the camp and the whole army ran and cried and fled when the 300 blew their trumpets, the Lord set every man's sword against his companion throughout the whole camp. And the army fled to beth Akai, towards Zerah, as far as the border of Meoya and Tamar. God needs some noise. I don't know any battle. What we just read, it talks about everybody. Breastplate of righteousness, sword. This is hand-to-hand -hand combat. If you never knew how to pray, this quiet thing, Satan loves it. When you can't open your mouth to pray, when you are so dignified, your prayer is, Oh Lord, thou, O oh Lord in the heavens, who seated in the throne, Jesus said in Matthew chapter 11 verse 12, the kingdom of God suffers violence. When you are violent, people are looking at you and say, is he crazy? Yes, I'm crazy because I'm, I'm facing a crazy Satan. So tonight, we are, if you don't know how to pray, if you don't know how to open your mouth, tonight, ask God, Lord, release my mouth. Because when you shout, he says, shout unto the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Every time you make, God magnifies that sound. And to the devil, it's like a thousand armies coming. But when you keep quiet, when you pray in a way, Satan is not scared of you. And so tonight we are here to pray. We are here to say, Satan, those chains are going to fall off. All those who came, whatever they are loaded, we are declaring today in the name of Jesus. So I want us to stand up and I want us to... If, if you really know how to pray in tongues, this is where you need it. Because the Bible says that when you pray in tongues, you pray to the Lord directly. So I want us to lift up our voice and say, God, we are coming here. We are not coming here to play. We are here for battle. We are here to shake the devil. We are here to shake the, 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 the halls of Satan. So everybody pray. Pray, 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 pray. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name, O oh God. O oh, Jehovah Sabaoth, the God of the heavens, the one who reigns in the sky. Father, Lord, we thank you tonight that, mighty God, we are here. Oh, Lord, mighty God, we are going to be violent. We are going to be violent. Father, Lord, mighty God, we pray. Let the spirit of prayer get upon us. Mande mazo keriabatosha, rabako tebene mekosa. In the name of Jesus, Father God, the authority that you've given to us, 
we stand tonight oh god and we declare in the heavens let your fire fall oh my name is kiss him we blow the trumpets in zion we blow the trumpets of god father lord we declare with our lips let my soul carry and the mission father lord mighty god arise oh god and let your enemies be scattered Father God, we glorify your name and we say, Lord, be exalted. Be exalted, O God. Be exalted, O God. Be exalted, O God. Be exalted, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Father, we exalt you. Lord mighty God, we declare that from today till Sunday, mighty God, dear Father, we declare your Lordship in this place. Father, we ask, oh God, Lord, I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we declare tonight, Father, we declare tonight, Satan, we declare war, and we tell you tonight, this is level. In the name of Jesus, spirits and they are here to see they are here to see what are they going to do we are going to declare tonight Jesus is Lord in this room any monitoring spirit any foul spirit whatever they come here to cause you not to see cause you not to receive we want to take authority behold I give unto you power to trade upon scorpions, upon serpents, upon all the power of the enemy. So I want you to say tonight, if whatever you are, Monday, Matoske, we bind every foul spirit in the name of Jesus. We declare the Lordship of Jesus in this room and mighty God. Expose them, expose them, expose them. Expose them. Expose them, expose them. Lord, I never take away their covering, Lord. Lord, I ask tonight, Father, in the name of Jesus.
Revelations 1 verse 5, the ending of it says that Jesus, he loved us and he washed us with his own precious blood. He washed our sins. One major hindrance to revival in the church is sin. There's a story of a soldier who went away. He had just gotten married. He went away. His wife was very lonely. She started going to friends. Then very soon she had this boyfriend and she was in the house. This soldier was released 
impromptu and he was so happy he got down on the train just walking all the way home to see his wife he knocks on the door and she opens and she can't open the door for him to come through because she has some strange person in there who's not supposed to be there let's look at our lives Jesus is our groom he died for us he shed his blood for us if there's anything in our lives if there's any stranger any strange boyfriend or girlfriend that one has to go so that Jesus can come in so right now let's pray and ask the Lord to remove any strange thing in our lives let's pray so that revival can come in the church father I come before you right now and I confess and I repent of sin any wickedness in my heart father any stranger I've allowed in my heart so that you'll be pushed out let them come out now in the name of Jesus Jesus you are welcome wash me with your blood I pray father for my brothers and sisters in the Lord Wash in the blood, Lord. Wash us with your blood. Wash us with your blood in the name of Jesus. Anywhere we have been unfaithful, anywhere we have been adulterous, Father, we repent in the name of Jesus. We repent, we repent, we repent. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, have mercy on us. Wash us with the blood of Jesus. Wash us with the blood of Jesus so that we can be revived in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for washing us. Thank you for washing us with your blood. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name in Jesus name amen in Acts 10 44 and 45 this is when Peter went to Cornelius house he said when he was still speaking the Holy Spirit fell upon them the Holy Spirit fell upon them when he was still speaking the word we are praying right now we're going to be hearing a lot of things from the Lord's heart tomorrow Saturday Sunday we're praying that even as we're hearing the, the words of the Lord, he will be merciful and his spirit will fall upon us. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, let your spirit fall upon us, Lord. Even in this season, let your spirit fall upon us. Revive us, revive us by yourself, Lord. We are here and we are here only for you, Lord. Revive us, pour your spirit upon us. Holy Spirit, pour yourself. fall upon us. You are welcome. We get out of the way. Holy Spirit, take your way. Have your way with us. Have your way however way you want to work. Lord, have your way in our lives in the name of Jesus. Lord, have your way. Take control in the name of Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we thank you. This is yours. Have your way. Take over our program. Take over our agenda. We have no other agenda but yours alone. Holy Spirit, disrupt us as you want. Hold us, break us, reform us in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Our last prayer before I hand over to my brother. Thank you, Jesus. We're praying. Because with revival also comes with persecution. I'll tell you a short story. There's a sister in Asia. She used to take Bibles. She'd take Bibles and um, take it to the churches there. Some of them couldn't even read, so she'd take audio Bibles. And this policeman, he had a very special gift of catching Christians and torturing them. Caught this sister, put her in jail, put all her books in the warehouse so he can set it on fire go into the room and beat her every day without fail the same time the sister started praying Lord give me an opportunity to testify of your goodness to this man when he knows the love of Jesus he will not do this one day he went in there beat her his mother called and said what are you doing he said beating one of those Christians again he said stop it I was just hit by a car I don't know why but I think you're torturing Christians and that's why I'm being tortured he's like just get off next day he went to beat her his brother called I got into an accident stop attacking Christians the third day he went in there the sister thought okay there's another beating again this time he said please come with me to my sister's house she became paralyzed she cannot walk again I've heard that when you pray in the name of Jesus my sister will be healed the Lord said this is your chance go with him she went laid hands on the sister prayed and she woke up she started walking this man backed off now that part of Asia I'm not going to mention the country when you go there this policeman lets people take the Bible there it's against what they've been told but he said my supreme leader all these people 
I cannot pray in their name and my sister was healed. Nobody healed my sister but this Jesus. And so we are praying that even with revival, even with the persecution, the church, the gates of hell will not prevail against the church. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. The gates of hell will not prevail against the church. Your word says, Father, that you will build your church. Lord Jesus, build your church. Revive us and build your church in the name of Jesus. Revive us and build your church. We thank you, Father. We worship you with blessing. In the name of Jesus, Father, let me get to the church. In the name of Jesus, keep on praying, keep on praying, keep on praying, keep on praying, keep on praying. Keep on praying. Keep on praying. Makadesh, silly billy me. In the name of Jesus, Masalabadesh, Ekalaban de la Beshek de Bos, Malikaro Sheklen de la Be, Lebraski Librian de la Balabala Bashakandorobo. Rebala baso se kada ba yan kala baleke iko shandele bele bele be mandolo bo shikle de le preske de preken de ke de ke de be e le pro shandala bala 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 ba rekanda la bala ba shakanda la bala 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 ba rekande le bele 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 be shandala ba makanda bala ba in Jesus name. Hallelujah. We are going to pray two prayers. One for Bread of Life International Ministry and one for students. And the first prayer is that we want to pray and tell God that Father, let this church enjoy continuous growth. Let this church enjoy continuous growth. Let the leaders be endued with the spirit of wisdom. Let the needs of the members of this church be met by God in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray as the Spirit leads you. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Pray for this church. Pray for this church. Lord, we pray for this church. Your words say, I will build my church and the gate of hell cannot prevail against it. I will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. Let Bread of Life International Ministry enjoy continuous growth in the name of Jesus. Let this church grow from strength to strength. Let this church grow from power to power. Let this church grow from glory to glory. Let this church grow from power to power in the name of Jesus. Malo sheketelebe le prantalaba le kandorobo shikandalabalaba. Let the leaders be endued with the spirit of wisdom. Let the needs of the church be met by God. In the name of Jesus. Makelebo shantelebe ibala kandelebe abalo siklandelebe eshindelebo skarabalaba rekandelebe libros kalabalaba. Arandelebelebe sikandalaba Ashandolobo libos kadabaraba Ebros kadabarabaraba This church shall grow from glory to glory This church shall grow from power to power In the name of Jesus The fire on this altar shall continue to be burned In the name of Jesus Elibraska alandalaba Hey In Paluanda in Paluanda, Alekadeske, in Palandelebe, Sakanda, in Palua Shandelebe, Rikandelebe, Libroska, Ashendelebe, in the name of Jesus. Now we are praying for students. The Bible says in Psalm 50, verse 16, it says, Call unto me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver you. Call unto me in the day of trouble and I will deliver you. Many students here are encountering a lot of problems. But we are going to tell God, Father, let the immigration challenges, academic issue, and any other issue students are going through be delivered by your power. Be delivered by your power. Begin to pray right now. Begin to pray right now. As the spirit leads you, whatever challenge students are going through, whatever problem students are going through, be it immigration issue, 
being scholarship issue, being academic challenges. Father, we are calling you. We are calling you, Lord. 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 Save your people. Deliver your people. Deliver your people. In the name of Jesus. Deliver your people. Le Balakanda la Bashan de Lebe. Lord, deliver your people from every academic issue, from every immigration issue, from every challenges of your people, of the students among us. In the name of Jesus. Le Balabala 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 Balabala. In the name of Jesus. Let the power of the Lord come down. Oh, let the power of the Lord come down. from sin of allowing satanic manipulation into the lives of our children and the youth so we are going to stand in the gap you have children you pray for them we pray for the children here we pray for the body of Christ the youth and the body of Christ we repent on their behalf for allowing satanic manipulation into their lives because there's so much manipulation going on let's begin to pray themselves from the school of repeated disobedience unto God we're praying 
that our children will be able to recover themselves to walk in obedience unto the, unto the Lord and to leave disobedience behind, including the youth. So let's begin to pray for them. Father, in the name of Jesus. to us, they are precious to God as well. God got angry with the Israelites because he told them I've given you these children for you to raise them for me to worship me, to serve me, to follow me but they refused they allowed the children to do whatever they want. So let's begin to pray for our children that their hearts will not be hardened towards God, that any hardness of their heart will be broken let's begin to pray so dear to my heart more than anything else is the children. Satan is not worried about me anymore. He's not worried about you. If he can get our children, the end is here. And our children are so confused. They don't even know what is right or wrong anymore. They don't even know what is light or darkness anymore. And you may not have children. Guess what? You should be worried because by the time you have children, it'll be ten times worse. See what they're doing, you know, to our children. Now you even open your mouth to complain. They take you, they, they take your children away from you. I want us to pray now for the United States of America. The land that flows with milk and honey. This is very serious. A few weeks ago, I had a dream. And in that dream, myself and my wife were in this, like in a compound. And here in the United States, no food. They were rationing food. So to be able to help each other, people had to congregate to be able to share enough food to eat. And I remember very well in that dream that there was this lady who, was, who had a baby, just newly born, and no food. So people were now taking food, at least giving to her, at least so that the baby could live. It was that bad. And then we left, myself and my wife, we went out. As we are coming back, we saw people streaming out. And when we wanted to go, no, you can't go in there, you can't go in there. So what? He said, only three people can be allowed in there at a time. Another pandemic. Jesus, uh, God told the children of Israel when they were in Babylon, they were dying to go back. God says, look, you ain't leaving. You, this, Babylon is your hope. Babylon is your, is your, that is where you are going to be. You better pray for Babylon. He says, buy land. Settle. Marry. Because you ain't going nowhere. Your peace is tied with the peace of Babylon. 
your, your success, your prosperity is tied with, the, with Babylon. Yeah, you rejoiced when God gave you the visa to come to the United States. You don't know what you were coming into. If the United States falls, you fall with it. I fall with it. So I want us to raise our voices and say, God, not in my time. But it's happening right now that the anger of God is, he says, he has reserved the wicked for, for, for punishment. He stores up his anger. You think that God is happy when a woman in the White House bears her breast for the whole world to see. Where they lower the flag of the United States and put the, 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 the gay flag on top. You think God is happy? When they are forcing our children to look at things that even adults cannot look at. And when a father stands up to say, why are you giving this to her? They cut off his mic and he says, if it is not good enough for you to hear, why are you letting my children? We need to pray. Father God, have mercy. Have mercy upon our Babylon. I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, I am here on this boat. This boat cannot sink while I'm on it. Father, have mercy, O oh God. Lord, we pray, O oh Father, for this country. Lord, mighty God, you brought us, O oh God, to bless this country. You, oh Lord, you brought us to be blessed here. Ebenezer, he that told the Lord has been with us. Lord, mighty God, you've opened doors for your children. Lord, mighty God, you've lifted us up. And we ask tonight, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord mighty God, in judgment show mercy. In judgment show mercy. Father, we ask, oh God, oh Lord, dear Father, oh mighty God, dear Lord, right now, oh God, men are shaking their fists at you. Right now, oh God, people are saying, what will God do? Father, Lord, we pray, mighty God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, mighty God, have mercy on our leaders, oh God, that mighty God, dear Father, you will show them mercy. That Lord, mighty God, they will open their eyes. Father, Lord, we pray against inflation. Lord, we pray, mighty God, for our leaders that they will make the right choices. That Lord, mighty God, they will, Father, we pray, O oh, King of glory, that Lord, those, O oh, mighty God, who control the banks, who control the money, Lord, I pray that, Father, they will make wise decisions that will keep this country going in the right direction. Father, Lord, we ask, oh God, oh mighty God, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, mighty King of glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You know, when God told Moses, showed him the tabernacle hide was going to be built, where was the gold and the silver and all the things that were needed for the temple going to come from? It came from the people. The people themselves gave. They took their earrings off. They took their rings off. They took their neck bands off. And they brought so much gold that in the end, the people who were building the tabernacle said, Please, Moses, tell them to stop. We have more than enough. How we wish that was happening in the church. I remember there was a time in my life when people called from home, asked for $50. I couldn't afford it. There were times in my life when people would call and ask for help. And I say, I wish I could do it. Until the day God says, you will never struggle again. God wants to bless you, not just for you alone. God wants to make you a millionaire. It's not because you can show it off. So that the church that is struggling in Africa, all over the world, they're looking for Bibles. They say, can you donate money for a Bible and you can't even give $5? Father God, I want you to pray, say, Lord, bless the work of my hands. Lord, I want to be a multi-millionaire, not for the sake of the kingdom. Lord, I want my cup to overflow. Pray for your servant. Say, Lord, mighty God, my poverty does not bless you. My poverty does not cause you to be glorified. Father God, 
Abraham was filthy rich. Job was filthy rich. David was filthy rich. Solomon was filthy rich. Father God, I ask, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, bless the work of the hands of your children. Father God, we glorify your name and we pray in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. As we finish, thank you, Pastor Paul. Thank you, intercessors. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. There's this scripture that I is in my spirit right now in Psalm 121. It says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is your shed at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth, even forevermore. The keeper of Israel shall neither sleep nor slumber. We want to keep pray for Israel. And we finish in the next five minutes. I want us to pray for Israel. The Bible says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who pray for you. Peace be within your walls and prosperity within your palaces. As we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, we prosper. As we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, we are protected. As we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, peace comes upon us. Let's pray for Jerusalem. Father, we thank you for Israel. The keeper of Israel that does not sleep, does not slumber. In the name of Jesus, Father, we worship you. Father, we bless your holy name. Father, we glorify your name. Father, we speak of your mercy. Father, we speak of your grace. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for this time that have given us, oh Lord, to pray. Father, we stand on the cap. Yes, for America. We stand on the cap for Israel. And we pray, Father, for the peace of Jerusalem. And we say it will be well with us. Even as we remember Jerusalem. As we remember Jerusalem. Remember the peace of Jerusalem, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, we worship you. Father, we bless your holy name. Father, we glorify your name. In the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, And the devil was defeated by pleading the blood of I want us to plead the blood of Jesus. We are going to sing. And after singing, we are going to plead the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Present worshippers, you can take on the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. I would want you to dance. I would want you to move. The blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood.
Yes, we stop everything in the blood. We stop this proof within the blood. Yes, we stop everyone interested in the blood. Yes, we stop everything in the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Cover me, Lord, with your blood. In the name of Jesus, cover my house with your blood. Cover the work of my hands with your blood. Cover anointing upon me with your blood. Let it be the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. In the name of Jesus, Father, we wash you. Father, we bless your holy name. The blood, the blood, the blood. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We are gathering tonight on the remnant raising. Amen. Why don't you look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor, I am the remnant and I am raising. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we thank you for all the praise, for all the worship, for all the intercession that has come in this place. Father, we thank you for this time that you have given us. Even in this month of seven, oh Lord, to gather the month that your Holy Spirit come upon the earth. The month, oh Lord, that Jesus resurrected to go to heaven. Father, we thank you that we have gathered for we have an appointment with you. Father, we pray that in these three, four days that we are going to gather in this house, may your Holy Spirit come and take over. Spirit of the living God, come and take over. Spirit of the living God, come and have your way. Let it not be ab about us. Let it be about you, the Spirit. Let us just be vessels that you are going to use for what you are going to do in the lives of your children. For this is the remnant of God. This is the chosen ones, O oh Father, that you have selected from all nations to worship you. So, Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we glorify your name. Yes, Lord, we declare that this conference is open. We declare that your spirit is in this place. We declare that tonight your angels are coming to reside here. We declare that whoever is going to come to this conference, you're going to touch them, that their life will never be the same. We declare that there's no one who will leave this conference sick. Lord, you are going to heal each and everyone. We declare that those who are going to be baptized, their life is going to be changed in a blink of an eye. We declare, Father, that those who are going through situations with paperwork, you are going to intervene. We declare, Father, that whatever way your children are, you are going to touch them there and you are going to raise them. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your name. I said, everyone who's under my voice, I plead the blood of Jesus over your life, over your destiny, over your future, over the work of your hands, over your family, over your children, over everything to do with you. May the blood of Jesus cover. Yes, Jerusalem is covered by mountains and surrounded by mountains. May you put a wall of fire around us, oh God, that no demon, no spirit, no power, no darkness can come closer to us. May you put a hedge of protection upon your children. We declare that it is well with them, oh God. In the name of Jesus, I pray for those who are struggling with sin. And I say, Father, may you take away the appetite of sin out of their lives. May they enjoy you, oh Father, in salvation and in deliverance and in holiness. Thank you, Father, so that the children of Jacob who possess their possessions. We thank you, Father. We bless your holy name and we glorify your name. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, our Lord, thy, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power and the glory. Forever and ever we pray. And surely goodness and mercy shall fall us all the days of our life and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever we pray.